What is up, Home Slice? Welcome to Day 11 of the Christmas Countdown. Ah, Christmas. The time of year to just sit by the fire, curl up in a blanket with a good book. Now what book, you might ask? Well, that's why I'm here today. Here's a few family-friendly holiday books to be reading this season. First up, we've got Politically Correct Holiday Stories. I did touch on this a little in the last video. Well, not the last video, but the one before that. Uh, it's a random book I found at my grandma's house. Not entirely sure why she had this, but it's got stories like Twas the Night Before Solstice, which has lines like Twas the Night Before Solstice, and all through the co-op, not a creature was messing the calm status quo up. Uh, and then this reindeer enslaver, this exploiter of elves, happy Christmas to all, and get over yourself. Yeah, so that's fun. It's also got a story called Frosty the Person of Snow. And then there's The Nutcracker, which I can't imagine is much different from the story we know. I don't know, because I did not read this. And then there's also Rudolph the Nasally Empowered Reindeer and A Christmas Carol. But y you see what I mean? It's, it's a collection of just short Christmas stories. Famous tales, but told differently. Anyway, but maybe you're not into that. Maybe you want something that promotes a healthy body. That's good. How about Santa Goes on a Diet? It seems like he finally put his foot down and said, no, I'm not going to be doing this. If any of you remember Rudolph, his wife's trying to make him eat to be fat. Also, she's calling him Papa. That's the real weird thing. Who calls their spouse Papa? But if you want something a little more fun and an element of, huh? Well, then you can't go wrong with The Night Santa Lost His Pants. I mean, come on, that title alone. How did he lose it? Did he have to go to every single house in the world and just not have pants on? Could he not just get a pair from someone else's house? I mean, that'd be stealing, but I mean, you're not wearing pants, so what's the real crime here? And if Santa issuing displays of public nudity isn't your thing, then maybe you should try Santa is Dead. I didn't really do further reading on this one, so, um, so make of that title what you will. Now here's one I think we could all get a good laugh out of. Scared of Santa. Scenes of Terror in Toyland. I mean, come on. This is a book that's just a collection of kids screaming at Santa. Look at this cover! It looks like Santa's also afraid of the kids, so it's like a mutual understanding. But apparently this is just a collection of photos like that. And that's pretty funny, so check that one out. Or maybe you want to go with The Little Book of Christmas Stress. Finally! A book I can get behind! Christmas is a very stressful time, for a lot of people. You need to find a time to go shopping, what you're even going to buy people, who you're going to buy for. Uh, maybe if you're planning a party or a dinner, you gotta, you gotta plan ahead. Or, you know, maybe just a random example, maybe two years ago you committed yourself to doing 25 videos for Christmas just because you felt like you had to and now you can't really stop yourself. Again, just a random example. So like, yeah, if you're experiencing Christmas stress, check out this book by Rohan Kandapa. Kandapa, 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 kandapa. Or if that's not your thing, Murder for Christmas. This is a collection of 26 Yuletide murder stories, I guess, featuring Agatha Christie, so that's pretty cool. And this cover is pretty funny, like, Mrs. Claus is like, oh man, I just really want to just get Santa with this knife. And then Santa's just like, well then just do it already, I I'm tired of waiting. Also, side note, doesn't this Santa kind of look like Ed Asner as Santa? Like from Elf? I don't know, I thought that was kind of funny. And he was a good Santa, so that should be fun. Next up we got The Undead That Saved Christmas, Monster Bash. I think this is another one like the last one where it was a collection of horror stories about Christmas. But the front cover is pretty fun. Uh, we got Frankenstein's Monster, not Frankenstein, that's a common mistake. Uh, we've got the Grim Reaper. I don't know who that is in the background. Um, just generic horror monster. Uh, we've got the Wolfman, or any generic werewolf. I don't think he's specifically the Wolfman. Uh, we've got uh, Vampira from Plan 9 from Outer Space. And we've got Doug Jones from The Shape of Water. Who doesn't love Doug Jones? And then they're all, like, standing around a manger that has, like, baby Cthulhu? Or maybe it's, like, a baby Davy Jones from Pirates of the Caribbean? Baby Jones? Anyway, this looks interesting. Next up we got... It's beginning to look a lot like... Zombies. So this says it's a book of zombie Christmas carols. I don't know what a zombie Christmas carol is, but that sounds awesome. I love The Walking Dead. I gotta 
Walking Dead lamp right there. I mean, who doesn't love zombies? Well, okay, a lot of people don't love zombies, but I do. That sounds fun. Zombies? Christmas? Okay, maybe I do know what a zombie Christmas carol is. Anyone see Anna and the Apocalypse? Basically what that is, it's a Christmas movie with zombies. And it's a musical. And last, but certainly not least, Merry fucking Christmas. This story was written by Dennis Leary, who, as we all know, was made famous for playing the ghost of Captain Stacy in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. For you. But did you know he also wrote a Christmas song? And apparently, he also wrote a book based around that Christmas song. Okay, I know I've like been recommending these books for you, even though I've never read them and probably won't ever, but this one I'm actually genuinely super curious about. I mean, how do you make a book based on a song that goes like this? A cop sold me some crystal meth, it's a merry f***ing Christmas. Okay, it, it could be done, but I just wanted to play that clip. So anyway, those were my holiday book recommendations. Tune in tomorrow for Day 12, where I do something completely different. And remember, be safe, be smart, and have fun. Peace out, Home Slice.